The image was revealed earlier today in Washington and in six other cities around the world. Avery Broderick was part of an International Event Horizon Telescope research team that made the announcement. He's also an associate professor at the University of Waterloo and Premier Institute. And Avery joins us now. After this major day, you were on the stage when this big announcement is being made to the world. Avery, thank you for making time for us. I want to get to that moment earlier today. But first, I want to talk to you because you are one of the few human beings that got to see the photograph before the rest of us got to see it. So take me to that moment when you guys finally saw the image and said, oh my gosh, we have to share it with the world. Good afternoon. So, so this is the culmination of uh, more than a decade and a half of effort by hundreds of people across the globe. And, and uh, you know, the, there, there's a, a potent mix of emotions in the room. Um, there's relief that, that uh, many of the predictions that we made panned out, uh, that the telescope worked as well as we, as well as we had anticipated it would. Um, there's, there's just wonder. Uh, we, like so many, uh, do this simply because we find nature and the universe amazing. And, and it's you know, just, a, just a moment of, of wonderment to see this shadow, this uh, proof that there are monsters in the night roaming the universe. Um, and then there's the excitement of things to come, because we, we can do this again and again, and in doing so, better understand how black holes behave and how they impose their will on the universe at large. You've given us a sense of how long it took to be able to get this image. Why was it so difficult to get a, a solidified image of a black hole? So, so the, data, the data was taken in 2017, but the project had to begin long before that. We had to outfit a number of facilities across the world. The HT, uh, in, in, in key respects, leveraged an enormous amount of prior investment, but still we had to deploy specialized equipment to sites at the highest and, and in some cases most difficult to reach parts of the planet. Uh, and we also had to develop those technologies. A lot of what happened to the AHT was made possible by having extraordinarily high recording rates. We produced it in, in just seven days, five petabytes of data. That's, uh, I, I believe, the uh, entire life selfie uh, collection of 40,000 people. Uh, we, we merely got four black hole selfies out of it. Uh, and, and all of that development, plus the development of the theoretical models that we used to make sense of it, that's what took all the time. So now from 2017, sorry, April 2017 to now, oh, I'm sorry, that, 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 that was just the process of making sure everything works, dotting all the I's, crossing all the T's, and ensuring that, that we, we had this groundbreaking experiment working. So let's go back to the moment earlier today where you're standing on that stage and the world is watching and we've known about black holes our whole lives. Will they actually look like what we've seen in the movies, we've seen in cartoons? Is it, is it what we expected? And in fact, it was. So describe for me that moment when you could finally share what you had discovered. So, so I actually, uh, I, I know the movie you're referring to. And I, I remember when that movie came out. Uh, and, and in fact, um, I, I, I know the, the writer of the script. And uh, I, I remember Tell us what movie myself, you're referencing. Remind us of what movie you're referencing. It's, a, it's an Interstellar. Right. Written by Kip Thorne, Nobel laureate Kip Thorne, uh, who was a central figure in, in black hole black hole physics, uh, and and uh, in that movie, I remember looking at that picture, thinking, one, it's amazing that Hollywood magic has been brought to bear on this, and two, I knew even at that time that it was just a few short years away before we would make uh, Hollywood magic scientific reality. So. Okay, so where do things go from here? You've got the image, you've shared it with the world. What's the next big step for you folks? Uh, well, the, the next big step is, is to do this all again. Uh, the sources that we look at, M87, uh, change. And they change on time scales uh, of, of weeks, um, in some cases months. And uh, by looking again and again at these sources, we will be able to measure those changes. And if, if a picture's worth a thousand words, uh, a movie's worth uh, that 25 times a second. And, and the same thing's going to be true here. By studying how this evolves in time, we'll better understand the dramas that unfold around black holes and better use that to study gravity itself. So, so that's where we're going. Okay, Avery, thank you for your time. Congratulations on today's event. And uh, thanks for sharing this with the rest of the world. 
Oh, my pleasure. I hope everyone finds it as, as just uh, absolutely exciting as we do. I think they do. Thank you so much for helping us get excited about it. Avery Broderick is an associate professor at the University of Waterloo and at the Premier Institute.